lick my big black balls, butcher. I will fucking end you. You're having bad thoughts again. And the ticks. And the compulsions. You're my hero, daddy. Oh, hell no. Nah. Look, if it's all the same, let's just cut the small talk. All you're gonna do is lie and say how you're doing fine, and I'm gonna lie and pretend like I'm happy to see you. I'm a motherfucker with a heart. Whereas you, you're just a motherfucker. Oh, you motherfucker. Get hey, off! You give the game away! Not until this frog gets what's coming. The only thing that is coming is me and your mother teeny! Oh, both of you! Knock it on the head now! Shit! Hey, Monique, how you doing, baby? Oh, I forgot to marinate the tilapia. I am so sorry, sweetheart. Baby, I just... Oh, you're right, you're right. I love you, too. Okay, right. <laughs> Fuck all of y'all, okay? Huey, Mother's Milk. That, uh, nickname? No, my mother actually named me Mother's Milk. Did, did she? So we got a French whore and a Stephen fucking Hawking. Great job, butcher. Sorry, baby. Just works has been a motherfucker lately. You know I'd much rather be at home rubbing on them toes than out here breaking up yard fights. But you know, brother got to get paid, right? What the hell will I do, Senor? Why don't we ask Foie Gras over here? He's the one that let her out. You need to unclench your asshole. You need to eat my clenched asshole. So where's the girl, Frenchie? Since you're the psycho chick whisperer all of a sudden. Maybe Subway. Maybe she wants to find the train, huh? Oh, yeah? How deep up your ass did you pull that? Man, it depends. How deep does your tongue go? Listen, you lost her, man. We had orders. We're supposed to follow them. We're professionals, and we count on each other. But you're on some fucking bohemian, flaky drug shit. Even Huey, who's a fucking white Urkel, oh, is I more professional than you. She talked to me. That's talking? Or is she communicating anyway? She likes her quick, huh? I'll call BuzzFeed. I can possibly tattoo fuck no on your ass. <laughs> Best I can do. Butcher! Where are you? Shake Shack. Fucking magic, that place. What'd you get? Shack burger, uh, cheese fries. Cookie dough concrete. Sounds good. Does it taste like lies? I got your phone linked to my Find Your Shithead Friends app. OK, this is a clusterfuck, even for us. You know Because if you watch that episode of Downton Abbey, then I'm going to be one behind, and we're not going to be able to binge watch together. Just, just hold off and talk at home. You swore to me and to Jesus Christ that you were done with Billy Butcher. I know, I get it. Everything Butcher touches turns to flaming hot well, shit. I ain't blaming him. Last I checked, you're a grown-ass man. It's my fault. OK? Hey, baby, come here. Give me a hug. Oh, what have you been up to? I was drawing you a picture. You were? Can I see? Oh, my goodness. This is beautiful. Thank you, baby. This is going to be Mallory's family all over again, only this time it's going to be my family. And if something happens to them, Butcher, like you want to kick my ass. So do it already. I don't want to kick your ass, Huey. I just don't want to get dragged back into this shit, all right? I want to get home to my wife and my kid. You did this? Uh, yeah. Huey! <laughs> <laughs> Look at what you fucking did! Hey, kid. What are you doing here? You ain't going? I ain't going. Asshole. Yep. Huey's not gonna make it. And you need that kid. More than any one of us. He's your canary. What canary? You let your canary die? How you gonna know when you're gone too far? Asking Robbins every Sunday after church. My pops, he always asks for samples. Now, this place had 31 flavors, and that man would taste each and every flavor every time we'd go up in there. Can I please try the Jamocha Almond Fudge, please? <laughs> My ass was so embarrassed. I'd be sitting there wishing the floor would just open up and just swallow me whole. Of course, now I give a year off my life just to be able to see that man going through spoon after spoon just one last time. Listen, any part of your body, and I mean any part, mm -hmm. that you dry white, you're not cleaning anything. You're just smearing shit all over your skin. Here. Got to use wet wipes. There you go. You just carry these around with you? What are you watching? A 
show called Eat My Dick. I ain't gonna ask you to come along. Lick my big black balls, butcher. Sorry, Becca. You done asked us to lie, spy, do all kinds of fucked up shit for you. Now we finally get a chance to do something good. And you think we gonna take a pass on that? Look at this. <laughs> use a plate. But I don't use a plate when I eat your mother's sweet and savory virgin. What are you doing here? Poor judgment, man. How can anybody be such a complete asshole? Practice. You knocked on my doorstep, motherfucker. Now, I respect the chain of command, but this... I'm not gonna tolerate your bullshit anymore, man. Your dick's out. The whole point of what we do, the whole goddamn point, is that no one should have that kind of power. If you don't draw the line somewhere, how the hell are you gonna know where you stand? I ain't drawing that line. Which is why we got to. I'm in. Give me some. Kid, didn't you just hear a goddamn word I said? Those shady ass TNT twins. Got an address in Vermont. Okay, does Butcher have it? Nope. But he'll get it. I think Soldier Boy is bulletproof. This ain't for Soldier Boy. I grew up in Harlem. Brownstone, filled with family. Grandparents, uncles, aunts, cousins. One night, there was a ruckus outside. I looked out the window, and it was Soldier Boy. He had pulled up on some kids that were trying to boost the bends. And so I run, wake up my granddad. Grandpa, Grandpa, it's Soldier Boy. Come look. Soldier Boy takes the bends, and he hurls it through our house like a fucking freight train. It missed me by about six inches. But my grandpa, one minute he was there, and then he wasn't. And I woke him up. I put him in that spot. That is not your fault. Hey, that's when this whole OCD shit started. I mean, I don't understand it. All I know is that if I didn't check the burners three times a night, Soldier Boy would come back and kill the rest of us. But I'm still that kid. <sighs> so you get Homelander, but I can't get Soldier Boy. Fucking hypocrite butcher. Now move. I can't let you do it, him. It'd be suicide. If you want to risk your life, fine. Have at it. But not with my baby girl. You're not her father. Someone's got to be. Marvin! Oh my god, Todd! Todd. So you lost your temper and hit a man? Oh, this is nothing. The whole point has always been to keep my fucked up shit away from Janine. I lost control for one second. And for the rest of her life, she's gonna have an image of her daddy beating up her stepfather. I gotta lock my shit down. I, I gotta be stronger. <laughs> You ain't no hero. You're just another racist piece of shit we can't seem to get rid of. This is for my family. For the longest time, Janine, I... I didn't want to bring you into this. Truth is... Superheroes aren't always good. One of them, Soldier Boy... Killed a lot of our family members a long time ago. Makes me sad. Sometimes it makes me mad when I think about it. Your granddaddy, he spent his entire life fighting to get justice. And now I do too. I just want you to know that you should be proud. Your granddaddy, oh, he was a real hero. You're my hero, daddy.